Hi everyone, Robin here from Focus Driven. I want to show you a little trick I found in Final Cut 10. Usually when I shoot RED, I have my DIT transcode all my files to ProRes LT. Then I use those ProRes LT files to edit on my timeline. As you can see, my setup is very light. So what I found the other day was that I can actually reconnect all of my clips in the timeline directly to the R3Ds. So let me show you how it's done. So this is my Final Cut project. As you can see, I'm working in 720p. Just to show you that I'm currently using ProRes files, I go to the inspector, and there, under codex, is ProRes 422. These are for all the files that are in the timeline. So how do I change the ProRes files to R3Ds? We go to the project, and here I've already made a duplicate just in case. Select the project, go to File, go to Relink Files, then make sure Relink All is selected. Select all the ProRes files, and then locate the raw files. Here, I'm currently pointed to card 4. I click Choose, and it will collect all the clips from A4. Now, I'm going to locate a second time, going to card 3, and it will find the rest of them. I click Choose once more. Once it's done, no more ProRes files up here, and all the ProRes files should be matching to the R3Ds down here. Click Relink Files, and it's done. As you can see, my laptop is now slower. The codec and inspector shows red code. And if you're not sure, the modify red raw settings should show up when you scroll down. Then, you can start playing around with all the red raw settings as you please. You can even change the gamma and the color space to your liking. So now that it's all set, I will change the resolution of my delivery. I can go up to 5K since these were Scarlet Dragon files. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use 1080p and ProRes HQ. Now that my timeline is 1080p, all I have to do is render, and I'm all set. And that's it. So uh, if you like the video, please click on the button below. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. I'll see you next time.